Hey, I'm Supo and today I'm going to teach you about the toolbar in Adobe Photoshop. Um, by using these tools, we basically do everything in Photoshop. So, by learning everything in this toolbar, that means you can definitely do something using Photoshop. Okay, so let's get started. Um, first, this tool is known as the Move tool can be used to move things around and this is selection tool you can select a part of the picture you want to edit and by selecting this you can use any tool to edit the picture the selected part I mean so if you move this the only the selected part gets moved Now, how do we deselect this part? It's easy. You just go to select and deselect. And yeah, it's not selected anymore. And there are more options here in this little, when you click that little drop down arrow. There's elliptical marker tool or the selection tool where you can select a circular part. Of the picture or you can use single rows that is single rows of pixels so since this is a pretty high resolution image it selects a tiny line there's the lasso tool if you use the normal lasso tool you can actually draw something Let's say I draw a heart. It only selects the part I actually drew from the lasso. And there's a polygon tool where you can mark points and draw something like a polygon and select that part. There also is the magnetic lasso tool, which is kind of tricky. What you do is, you just move the mouse over the part, move the cursor over the parts which needed to be selected, and voila, it gets selected. So, these are the basic selection tools. Oh, and apart from the lesser tool, there is the magic wand tool. What you do is the magic wand tool. It selects an area with a specific color. Now let's say we want to select the girl's black hair. We click on the black and yeah, it gets selected. You see these small bits are not selected. Why? Because these are gray. They're not black, so they don't get selected. If you want to select them, you can always press, press shift and just select these as well. See, it's easy as that. Here you get something called tolerance. The tolerance decides what colors should we take as black. If we increase the tolerance to something like 80, it makes the computer think, oh, you're fine. Even dark grey can be taken as black. So see, even the grey gets selected because the tolerance is high. If we reduce it to something like 10, it doesn't get Only specific parts get selected. And there's a quick selection too, which is also an important selection too by dragging the mouse, dragging the cursor across the screen, you can select parts quickly. There's the crop tool. You can just select a part, double click on it, and yeah, it gets cropped. These two tools are not really necessarily important. I'll teach them later. 
So moving on, this is the brush tool. So this is pencil tool as well as color replacement tool, but they don't. They are also being taught in the next tube. So I'll just keep sticking to the brush tool. This is used, of course, to draw stuff. And here you get the brush. From here, you can select any type of brush in this menu or by clicking this small arrow here. There are lots of other options you can select. Most of them I have installed, but there are some pretty cool brushes here like the special effect brushes yeah you get loads and loads of butterflies by increasing them let's go back to a basic brush you see the brush is small by increasing the mask diameter you can increase the size of the brush just like increasing the diameter of a circle You get two options here, Opacity and Flow. By reducing the opacity, it makes the brush transparent. And there's the flow. By reducing the flow, it makes the brush kind of thin. And there are modes, so if you select something like dissolve and use this see shows the dissolved texture but they usually stick to the normal here's the clone stamp tool if you want to use clone stamp tool the clone stamp tool is used to copy something to another place let's see we want to get her eye somewhere here make a copy of her eye somewhere here we bring the mouse, we bring the cursor over her eye, press Alt key, click, and then it gets copied. There's also the pattern stamp too. And in here you get lots of patterns. If you select the pattern, you can. Tap it to the picture. This is the good old eraser tool, which is used to erase a picture. This paint bucket tool, which is used to paint specific parts of the picture with specific colors. Here also, like in the Magic one too, you get tolerance. Increase the tolerance, increase the area to be colored. Decrease the tolerance, colors only a small part. There is the gradient tool, which is used to add gradients to the picture. In here, you get special blending options where the gradient is applied in such a manner. It's the diamond tool and the cone shaped gradient, things like that. And by clicking the downwards arrow, you can select lots of gradients from here. You also get the opacity here where you can adjust the transparency of the gradient you apply. Okay, um, this is the blur tool. It's used to blur an image. This is the sharpen tool, doing exactly the opposite of the blur tool. Sharpening an image, adding noise. And this is smudge tool. It smudges the picture. If you increase the strength to something like 86, smudge the intensity of the smudging is high and if we decrease it it's hardly visible but it's really useful the burn tool is used to darken the picture the 
by changing the exposure if we increase the exposure the intensity of burn is high while dec decreasing the exposure the intensity of burning is low and there's a range the colors where the, the burning is applied if we use shadows it only darkens the dark parts the already dark parts if we use mid-tones it darkens the medium colored parts and highlights it colors the lighter parts it is the same for the dodge tool except that it makes the picture lighter here's the good old text tool and here's the custom shape tool there are various tools here the square the rounded square the circle the polygon the line and of course custom shape too and here you can change the shape by clicking this small arrow you can go to many options of pictures and this is the ink dropper tool this is used to select a specific color from the picture. This is a zooming tool. You can use it to zoom and this hand to move the picture up when it's zoomed. And here you can select the color for the brush while this selects the color for the eraser okay so we have done the basic tools of our toolbar so I guess by using the tools you can do something out of Photoshop so try it out and let's see how it goes thank you